Bogus Basin is a big community asset. More than 300,000 skiers and riders visited Bogus last winter, and thousands enjoy the area in the summer, too. But the forest at Bogus is sick and dying. 50 to 90 percent of the Douglas fir trees in the area are infected with dwarf mistletoe and bark beetles. What we're seeing up here is a lot of trees have died or are going to die in the next few years. Dwarf mistletoe weakens a Douglas fir tree, causing growth deformities called witch's brooms. And then bark beetles move in and kill the tree very quickly. It is a one-two punch because the bark beetle it acts much, much faster and comes in and will kill a whole clump of trees at one time. In the past, you would see it in little clumps of three to five, maximum maybe 10 trees. Now we're seeing clumps of 50 to 100 trees getting attacked at once. Boise National Forest officials call the situation a crisis. The bark beetles and the mistletoe basically are, are killing the forest up here at Bogus Basin. And if we don't do something about it, we're not gonna have a forest up here in the future. The dead trees also present a safety hazard to skiers, riders, and summer users at Bogus. As soon as you know what to look for in the dwarf mistletoe or the beetle kill, you will see it more than you can possibly believe. It's everywhere. We're celebrating our 75th year next year, and so we're looking ahead for the next 75, and I believe that this program that the Forest Service wants to do is critical to the long-term health and sustainability of Bogus Basin. The Boise National Forest has a four-point plan to address the problem. Number one, remove the diseased trees to prevent dwarf mistletoe and bark beetles from infecting healthy trees. Number two, cut down and remove diseased trees that pose a safety hazard next to alpine and Nordic ski trails and structures. Number three, set prescribed fires to burn slash piles and clean up the forest floor. This will enhance wildlife habitat as well. Number four, plant new trees on 500 acres to restore the forest. The Boise National Forest expects to begin logging in the summer of 2017 to address the forest health crisis. The treatments will occur for about three years. Almost all of the treatments are focused inside the ski area boundary. The forest health project will cause some short-term impacts. A number of the mature trees will be removed in popular off-trail backcountry areas inside the ski area boundary. This work will be done in phases to spread out the impact over time. Some off-trail areas will be closed to protect new tree seedlings from being damaged by skiers and riders after tree planting occurs. We're going to plant trees in between the runs. Some of those off-trail areas are going to have to be closed for a little bit of time while those trees grow up high enough that they don't get damaged by skiers. Log truck traffic. There will be three different haul route options for log trucks. Harris Creek Road, Bogus Basin Road, and Grimes Creek. The Forest Service won't know which routes will be used until a buyer purchases the timber in a competitive bidding situation. The buyer will determine whether the logs go to a sawmill in Oregon or in Idaho. The nearest Idaho sawmill is located near New Meadows. It will be critical that our skiers and riders have a little patience with what's going to happen. There will be some short-term closures. If we can cut some more brush and add some more acreage, you may have to move over a couple lines to get that same skiing experience you're looking for. We've got to put up with a little pain before we get the pleasure of a, of a beautiful, healthy forest. The Bogus Basin Forest Health Project is endorsed by the Idaho Conservation League, the cities of Boise, Eagle, Meridian, Star, and Garden City, also the Society of American Foresters and Governor Butch Otter. Because it's a recreation area, it's really important to ensure public safety, and so that's really at the forefront of everyone's mind. There are going to be some changes up here. We're, we're going to need to be flexible. 
in the grand scheme of things, we want to make sure that this remains a safe and enjoyable place for, for recreation for years to come and decades to come. For more information about the Bogus Basin Forest Health Project, go to the Boise National Forest website or contact Stephanie Curley at the Mountain Home Ranger District at 208-587-7961.